welcome to you. My name's Dale and this is Dale's Addiction. Today I am bringing you seven alternatives to the Cartier Love Bracelet in the regular size in the rose gold hardware. Now this video has been requested by Susan Parry and to be honest it's another one of those following on from my Saint Laurent video that I did recently where I speak a lot about the love bracelet being something that I'm not interested in but I don't really talk about what I am interested in and so I thought that I would do a bit of research because on my wish list this year I put the Bulgari B0 bangle and I thought if I'm going to buy a rose gold bangle then I should probably do a bit of research around what's out there anyway and it just happened to coincide with a request so thanks Susan and I was actually surprised by what I found I put a question on Instagram as well to ask you for your suggestions for alternatives and thank you so much for those that responded I found a few new and interesting um, jewelers that I wasn't aware of that I think you will find quite exceptional alternatives for the Cartier Love. Now all of these, I'm going to call them bangles, they call them bracelets, I'm going to call it a bangle because it's a solid um, bangle. <laughs> Um, but all of these are the plain versions so I'm trying to compare like for like so there are no diamonds in these it is the plain version and where there are sizes I'm kind of quoting you for the largest size that they show on the website so that it's not a nasty surprise if you've got to go and um, get a larger size and the price doesn't correlate but obviously these prices are current as at now which is the 2nd of March 2022 all of these prices will be in Australian dollars if you live in the UK or the US your money is worth way more than ours and so all the prices will be relative relatively less than what I'm quoting here but I will leave links for all of these pieces in the description box below. So I um, I used the Cartier Love as the base model. I've got all, I've actually done an Excel spreadsheet. I mean hello professional. Now each of these have to be 18 karat rose gold to be included on this list. So all of them will be 18 karat rose gold. Some of them will come with a 14 karat option and not all of them disclosed the width of the band. So it's a bit hard to kind of say um, this one is 5 mil and this one is 5 mil or this one is 7 mil because the, the information wasn't available on the website. The one thing that I can tell you though is that I've always gone for like the thicker looking band so I've not put finer bangles against thicker bangles. Hopefully that all makes sense and you'll see it when I show you the pictures. So I'm going to share the alternatives from the most expensive alternative to the least expensive alternative because I think you will be surprised at just what you can get for your money if you're not worried about a little red box or a little blue box. You should see these screen dumps, it's so pretty. <laughs> Makes me want to go shopping. Okay, so with jewellery, every piece has a story and I'm going to share the stories with you in case that helps you to make a decision on which piece you'd actually like. Now the Tiffany Atlas X is a closed hinge bangle. It's designed with an iconic knife edge profile. A Tiffany code of the house since the introduction of the Tiffany setting engagement ring in 1886. Wearable emblems inspired by Roman numerals on the iconic clock at the New York flagship store. The Atlas X collection is a reminder to take time into own hands and treasure what matters most. Pair this narrow bangle with other Tiffany bracelets with or without diamonds for a strong style statement it's fairly low key it doesn't scream Tiffany unless you know the Atlas collection but I think it's a really lovely bangle is it worth eleven thousand nine hundred dollars though well you know you be the judge of that is that something that you're interested in spending money on then you should 
So the next bangle is the Boucheron Quattaclou de Paris bangle. <laughs> Love my French. Um, now this one is 18 karat rose gold and the price um, I found on net a because it is price on demand on the actual website um, and it's $11,319. It is a push clasp. It says the Clue de Paris traces the cobblestones of Place Vendôme suggesting a path through the City of Light and you can see those beautiful square shapes on the bangle. Um, it's a really interesting looking bangle. It's very different and unique and I think yeah it's it's definitely a contender. However for that price when we start to get down the list you might think differently. Next on the list we have the Bulgari B01 bracelet. Now this is the one that I had on my wish list. This is a hinged bracelet at $10,600 and the story behind this one is drawing on its inspiration from the most renowned amphitheater of the world, the Colosseum. The B0 bracelet is a true statement of Bulgari's creative vision challenging the very essence of jewelry design. The purity of its distinctive spiral is a metaphor for the harmony of past, present and future, reflected in the magnificence of the eternal city and the emblem of the pioneering spirit of the collection. Beautiful piece, it really is a favourite of mine. That price though, um, and that price has gone up quite considerably over the years as Bulgari has become very talked about um, by people on social media, just like Cartier and just like what's that other one? Van Cleef. Um, their prices are going up accordingly and that's business, right? Next on the list is from Hermes and I'm not going to attempt to pronounce this in French but it's the CDC bracelet in 18 karat rose gold. This one is on the Australian website for $10,495. It's created in 1949. The CDC collection has become signature Hermes jewellery that showcases contemporary and sculptural volumes. Not really a compelling story, but quite a unique piece. Already we've passed the $1,500 price difference between the Tiffany Atlas X and Hermes. Now we're at Cartier. Now, the regular size Cartier Love in the rose gold with the 18 karat rose gold, I should say, is retailing for $9,950 from Cartier and it is fixed and it has the screwdriver attachment. Now, the Love bracelet is a child of the 1970s New York. The collection serves to seal love that transgresses convention. The stark screws, ideal oval sheep, sh sh the stark screws, ideal oval shape and undeniable elegance establish the piece as a timeless tribute to passionate romance. Studded with diamonds, yellow gold or rose gold, how far would you go for love? So, you know, don't be a tight ass when it comes to your Cartier love is basically what they're saying. Um, it's kind of cheeky, right? So, I am um, in doing this analysis and you know obviously I get to look at Connor's beautiful love bracelet from time to time I actually feel that for $9,950 that's $2,000 cheaper than the Tiffany Atlas it's actually a pretty good deal and they're both 18 karat rose gold with no diamonds so I'm starting to feel like it's another eat my words moment but we continue because there are still more competitive options. Next on the list is Canturi. Now, if you haven't been around for the last two years, you would know about my love of Canturi. So I'll quickly tell you. Canturi is an Australian jewellery designer, Stefano Canturi, and I have a number of pieces and I love the deco kind of inspired patterns. They're very architectural. They're very specific to that kind of jewellery. Nobody else does anything like it. Um, and it's fair to say I'm quite a big fan and I had a ring made for my 40th birthday from Canturi with pink diamonds and Anyway, I'll start bragging, but um, 
Kanturi do a beautiful bangle called The Eternal. Now, it starts at 7200 but the price for the largest size is 8200 So there's a $1,000 difference. Again, it's solid 18 karat rose gold. Now, the real benefit with this is that it has a really interesting kind of twist closure. So it has an insured closure and on that little twist dial is an Australian black sapphire. So regardless of whether you get the plain version or you get one that's encrusted with Parve diamonds or diamonds through the band, you will get that Australian black sapphire on the closure, which is a really nice touch. So Eternal Bangles by Stefano Canturi are designed to be worn on their own or luxuriously layered featuring an intelligent crown clasp adorned with an Australian black sapphire. Available with or without diamonds and stackable with the Eternal Minis or your favourite watch. Now these ones do come in a lot of different options as well. Um, again I'm doing this like for like. So really um, comparable from an Australian jewellery company at $8,200. It's still $1,700 less than um, Cartier uh, and you it can it's from home so I really like that idea. We're getting to you know three and a half thousand dollars less than the most expensive and we're not even at the bottom yet. The penultimate item on the list there we go two catchphrases penultimate and item is the Chimay be my love rose gold bracelet now one of my great friends here on YouTube Jean shared this one with me I'm just looking at the plain bracelet um, now the be my love bracelet is really really sweet uh, it's at seven thousand three hundred and sixty five dollars so it is a really good um, price point for the quality of the piece and it's from a French house which is always really nice. Um, it is a graphic jewellery reinterpretation of the honeycomb. Bee My Love offers a resolutely modern take on the imperial symbol of the bee. The wearers of these geometric creations shaped in gold instantly convey an assertive air of regal femininity. So this queen bee and the Be My Love, and they are really unique, and the packaging looks beautiful as well. Um, so thank you for sharing that one with me, Jean. And finally, this final contender, which kind of took me by surprise, I have to say. Um, now, I don't know whether or not you would call this a luxury brand. However, if you've ever shopped diamonds from Brun Brunar, <laughs> If you've ever shopped diamonds from Blue Nile, then you might be interested in a direct-to-consumer jewellery option. I will probably butcher the pronunciation of this brand, but Velas, 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 I don't know, uh, are an online jeweller and they make to order a whole bunch of jewellery. They have a really beautiful rose gold bangle called Le Fleur in a 5mm round bangle in rose gold. Um, and the largest size is 4969 Australian dollars. It's less than US. It's a US website, I'm assuming. Um, it has a really lovely detail on the actual bangle, which is like a flower design, I suppose. Um, and it's just embossed in the bangle. It looks very similar to the Cartier Love, but it doesn't have the little um, the nail the, or the screw top. It actually has this lovely floral detail because it's called La Fleur. Obviously, it was quite a surprise to me. They do refunds as long as everything's returned in the state that it was sent in. You can choose a 14 karat option or an 18 karat option for white, yellow or rose gold. I think it's a great, it's a really great option. And at 4,900, so let's just call it 5,000 Australian dollars, okay? $5,000 compared to Cartier Love, which let's call it 10,000 Australian dollars, so half the price of the Cartier Love. And it's really beautiful. And then it is, 
what, 5000 let's call that $12,000, $7,000 less than the Tiffany Atlas. And these are all plain bangles. Yes, there are a lot of other options that have diamonds in them. Um, and I just excluded those from the list because whether they've got four little diamonds in the closure or they've got, you know, diamonds throughout the band, it wasn't like for like, so I excluded them. But I could not believe that the range is $7,000 from one end to the other. And it's made me think that I might actually try this Verless because I've said before, to me, it's about the material and the design, and I like both, I have to say. Um, I've seen some reviews. I looked it up. It was a, one of the recommendations from you guys. In fact, I'll see if I can find out who I can credit with this recommendation because it was very impressive to me. Thank you to Laura Landman321. Um, you recommended this, and I think it's, a, it's an absolute find and I wouldn't have known about it otherwise so thank you very much so some all of those uh, designs that I like that I might buy but I'm honestly thinking about for five thousand dollars I think I think that's a great price point um, for a gold bangle because it beats my rusty old Kate Spade one that I've got at the moment that people think is a Cartier love bracelet which is hilarious. So tell me what you think. Did you discover anything new today or were the prices kind of amazing for you because they certainly were for me. I did assume that was the case but to actually see them and like line them all up I will put in my little Excel spreadsheet here and you can see that like for like there is such a a huge difference in price and I guess it just goes for what's the story behind it what's calling you is it a dream piece is it the story is it the design is it a combination of all of those things I'm really interested in what's your pick and has anything popped out for you that might not have been on your radar previously or would you like to speak for or against any of those designs that I included in this comparison I for one have tried on the Canturi bracelets and I think they're really beautiful and it's so easy for me to just go into Canturi and try them and if I have any problems with them for whatever reason all of their jewellery workshops are in Australia so they will be repaired in Australia I don't have to worry about them going overseas and being gone forever they're fixed really quickly and I've had personal experience with jewellery being fixed if you don't know what I'm talking about I had a ring sawn off in 2020 it was a terrible experience and Canterbury were amazing so yeah um, this has been a really enlightening video for me to film so thank you so much for joining me. I hope you I hope that it's been helpful. I hope that it answered your question, Susan. And it's certainly put some things on the radar for me. If you've liked it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I put out videos on Wednesdays and Sundays usually and some extras. So I'd love to see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.